Hello everybody, my name is DaffyDuck91 and I'm from Not A Gamer Gaming and today I'm going to show you some steps on how to build the infamous AFK horde base. This is something that we've noticed has been asked a lot in the comments so we're going to go into a detailed description of how to build it today. Okay, so before we get started, this is what you're generally going to need. You're going to need a generator bank, a wire tool, you're going to want two sledges, one works as well but you're going to want two a hatch, iron bars, a shotgun auto turret, you're going to want some concrete blocks, you're going to want a concrete pole, a half block, stairs, concrete stairs corner, and then some plates. Side note, it doesn't have to be concrete to start. You can start as simple as wood and work your way up to concrete. But for the simplicity of this video, we're just going to go concrete all the way to build it quickly. But again, build it from wood, build it from cobblestone, start from the ground up. You can upgrade it all the way to steel, which is what over there, if you guys see this, this has been upgraded entirely to steel. So this is very much a base that can grow with you. I also recommend finding some flat land. We like to build, as you can tell, our bases on the farmland because it's always flat and we cleared some corn and yeah, we're going to get started. Let's grab our concrete blocks. Okay, so step one is building your staircase. This is kind of fun. You can build this as tall as you want. I'm gonna build it about here. So that's eight blocks high. So we're gonna have an eight block high base essentially. Now keep in mind, you can build this as tall or as short as you want. If you want it to be four blocks up, go crazy. If you, like, if you don't like jumping up or if you wanna get a little additional fall damage, go even taller. They will pass more or less up the entire thing Full disclosure, I have not scienced it, so I'm not sure how high up you can build before a zombie does not pass. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on how high you can build before a zombie decides to stop pathing. All right, we have our staircase. Pretty basic stuff. You're gonna wanna start with this, guys. It's like the foundation for the whole place. It's where you're gonna build the entire base off of. It makes it just a little bit easier. But yeah, step one staircase all right step two you're going to continue using your blocks and you're going to go one two three this way and we're going to build our initial path so we're going to add three to our staircase and then we're going to go ahead and go ten this way okay you got ten this way and then we're going to go seven this way and after seven that way you're going to go another seven this way Okay, so I mean, it's not an exact science. You're gonna kinda wanna get, I mean, you can build it longer. It depends on how big your little pyramid area is gonna be. You're gonna wanna give them a little bit of a haul. But six to seven, you know, 10 to 11, that kind of idea for your path. It's pretty basic. Now, one thing you wanna know is that you can take your blocks and build all the way up and make a solid sort of wall it's totally up to you it doesn't make too much of a difference you can go solid you can go a little crazy add some windows make it pretty for the purpose of this video I'm gonna go solid dirty I just like I like a solid wall because I feel like it adds some endurance to your base when it comes to cops and demolition zombies that may or may not spit and blow up it gives you a little bit more strength. Now, Jen over on his base, you can see he added some very stylistic bulletproof glass walls, which you, again, can do. Uh, we are not gonna do that today. I'm definitely gonna be curious to see how many of you guys change up or stylize your AFK base. So have to let me know. Go check out our Discord, throw a picture down of your AFK base so that I can see just exactly how you styled it. Okay, so we're gonna work on step three. For step three, you're gonna need your blocks. You're also going to need some plates and some poles. And this is the part where you'll need your hatch, iron bars, your generator bank, and your shotgun turret. Again, this, it doesn't have to be immediately shotgun turret. You can go with a junk turret that could help, an SMG turret. It doesn't really matter. It's just there to kill your birds to make it truly an AFK base so that you don't have to physically shoot anything. But again, it, you can shoot your birds as well. You do not need the turret. It's just recommended if you want to go completely AFK. So we're going to build the base. I like to do it one, two, three, four, three by four. 
so if that makes it relatively small if you were gonna live up here you're probably gonna want to go larger my recommendation is to go out this way larger and then you're gonna want to add some supports you don't want one for it to fall down and two like because you can only go with so many I don't even know how many concrete blocks before it just decides to fall over let's just check this out for science there that was actually quite a few blocks um, so you might not even need support just for funsies. Let's go out. I don't know I'm gonna go out There we go. Let's just go out this much wider then you can have a bit more breathing room and space And you can also even get closer down to the bottom of your shooting arena if you do decide to fight for the horde a lot of people in the comments ask exactly how the walls are so thin that is because the walls are done with plates. You can make a wooden plate and then upgrade it all the way to steel. So it is definitely something you can start early game. I do recommend placing the plate on the bottom block initially. This is going to give it a little bit more support, just like that. And you're going to want to go all around. For your walls, it is very dependent on how high you want it to be. I'm going to just go up three high. That's a little short for my usual taste, but for the purpose of this video, again, three high. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot for the purpose of this video over and over again. Now, before you really get into building your wall, you're going to want to make sure you have right here, you're going to want space for a door to get in and out. Seems pretty obvious, but you're also going to want on this side to at least have a few spaces to shoot out of. I know it's AFK, but not everybody enjoys AFKing on a horde. If you want to fight the horde, just tailor your base to give you some options so you can shoot out the windows, which is what we're going to do right here. So you can, oh, I mean, well, that doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. We're going to just scratch that, put these on the bottom, right like this. And then, yeah, you're going to shoot out through here as the zombies come up. We're also going to put maybe another one on this side, right about, uh, I need to turn it. right about there then you'll be able to shoot through that as well there we go now Jen puts hatches on his you can do that too if you want to shut them like a window it keeps you a little bit more safe from the incidental bird flying in or the cop spit coming at you um, if you want it to be truly AFK so if you don't want to see or you know taste touch see or smell your zombies go ahead and put some hatches in your windows to protect them I am NOT gonna do that today because I don't know I just don't I like to personally fight the horde when I'm playing, so I don't much need the hatches. But again, please, please, please place them if you want this to be an AFK base. If you truly want it AFK, you're gonna need to place the hatches to prevent things from spitting on you. Otherwise, I'm just gonna put a hatch here. This is like my get out of jail free hatch. That way, if so happen, the base does not get all the zombies, they're gonna be nipped right here by my shotgun turret. So, that is kind of our go-to now in further building the base we're going to put these poles a hundred percent honest don't know if this does anything other than make it look nicer i'm going to add them because i don't know i don't like that weird lip i'm sure it does add a level of structural integrity but i don't think it's enough to really matter so otherwise it just it looks pretty snazzy when you go like that okay next step we are going to put on a roof. Now for your roof, you're gonna want a place to lay your turret, which means you're gonna have to lay your blocks up on top like this. Hold on, sorry, you're gonna wanna, yeah, there we go. You wanna lay your blocks kinda like that so that you have a space to, on the top, put your turret. See how low that is? I'm not a huge fan of that. Go ahead and throw your base up two more blocks higher. You can get a little bit more head space uh, if that is your preference, but otherwise I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and line out the rest of the plates that we're going to need for this section of the tutorial. Okay, so we have our plates. You can see I do have a large hole in the middle. That is where I'm going to be putting my iron bars. Now the reason why I want iron bars here is to give me that option to go ahead and shoot the birds when they come at me. So if the birds are coming in for you, you can go uh, look up, shoot, you're going to be able to hit them, but they're not going to hit you, which I desperately do enjoy. All right, next up, we're going to place your turret. You're going to want to put your turret right here. 
So it seems odd. Why is my turret not facing my zombies? Well, it's it's like a failsafe. You're going to be killing your zombies or they're going to be falling down. This turret is to grab birds and to grab whatever miscellaneous zombie decides to kind of find their way up. Um, my only hesitation is that I've made my base not as wide as I normally would have made it. So this little path here isn't as long. Uh, hold on. I'm going to go fix that real quick because, you know, this is a tutorial and it should make a little bit more sense. All right. Poof. Editing magic. That did not take long at all. We have a bit more of an extended path here. I, like, what I love about this base is how customizable it is. You can, you don't even have to do a swirling path if you don't want to. So you can definitely make it a straight line. That one there is a straight line. The swirling path is just kind of the original way to do it. But yeah, we have our base. We have our shotgun on the base. What we do need now is to power it. So you're definitely going to use your lovely generator bank right here. I'm going to slap that down. Grab your wire tool, wire your shotgun, and then you're going to want to put whatever is needed to operate the generator bank, which honestly, I don't remember. So we need engines and fuel. So we'll fuel it up. We're going to throw an engine on there, and we're also going to get some shotgun shells in here. Poof magic. We have a fully operated turret to help keep us safe during the horde. That is all for that step. We now have our little base. You can put storage in here. You can put workstations in here. As you saw, you can extend it out pretty far if you go right to concrete, so using rebar. You'd have a bit of trouble doing that with wood because it will fall a little sooner, but it can go out pretty far, and it can also go up a little bit higher if you so choose. Okay, so we're going to work on step four, and I like to call step four the zombie obstacle path. With that, we're going to need full and half blocks. This is the most interesting part of our comment section is people not figuring out how to put these blocks on top of each other or how to put a full block on top of a half block. So if I go down here and I place my half, you can't get a full on there without some kind of magical levitating power. Now the hidden trick, which is honestly not so hidden, is that you go two half blocks a full block all right and then you put the half on the full not the full block on the half that is how you get that magical path that seems to elude the masses now i, I mean i'm just teasing i can't if like we didn't honestly describe how to do it everyone's going to assume that since you laid a half block here you're going to continue it all around but alas that is not how it's done again it's full block then half this gives you that very nice extra lip for jumping. Now, here's the most integral part. You're gonna wanna put down your turrets. So I'm gonna place, I'd say one kind of right about here, and then I'm gonna place one here. Now, I know that kind of looks a little weird, but if you grab your turrets, and if you spec out in all your intellect points, you'll get two of these working for you at once. I'm gonna put one, can I get it? Great, come on, hold on, there we go. Right, maybe, hold on, I just gotta get that sweet spot. There we go, got one there. And we're gonna place one here. This lower turret is great. It's gonna hit them at their feet, therefore preventing them from hitting demolisher buttons. You're rolling the dice on a higher turret up. I like having one a bit higher up in case they hit the feet and then it does like some weird somersault and then the zombie needs to be smacked again. But fair warning, you are rolling the dice to set off a demo zombie. The only hope you can have is you hit their button and they fall and they blow up somewhere down here and not up in your face and kill you up here. So like everything in life, there is a little bit of risk. Your AFK base is going to work. And we do have multiple videos proving that this base does work against intense, insane day 7,000 hordes. I'll link those all in the description box below. Go check them out. See how the base evolved and how it's taken on everything it can throw at it. Everything that you guys have asked in the comments. It is definitely a wonderful, I don't want to say cheese base. And I honestly don't want to start the debate, but you know what I mean? It's a good base. It, it'll cheese. It'll not cheese. It'll do anything you want. But uh, we're nearing the end. There's only a few more steps left to go. All right, for step five, we're going to need to make the staircase. The staircase helps the zombies get up and down a little bit easier and smoother, preventing them from rage bashing on your base. 
So you're gonna start with obviously adding some steps initially, and then you're gonna wanna build some kind of smooth pyramid transition up at the top. Now you do this to prevent your zombies from smacking at the walls and tearing down the path. In this base, the path is the most important thing. If you screw up the path, they're gonna start beating on your walls. So when it comes to upgrading, awesome tip to know is you're gonna to wanna to start upgrading the path right away. I mean, you're gonna to wanna to do the walls, but you're also gonna to wanna to do the path. It's very important if you wanna keep the zombies going in the direction you need them to go in. Okay, so before I go ahead and fill these in, you can take some blocks and fill in the exterior of your staircase. If you like to do that, by all means, go ahead. If it's just too much extra upgrading for you, you also do not have to do it. There is no rhyme or reason to making a staircase. And if I'm to be frankly honest, I find doing the pyramid can be a little bit tedious to try to get it done the right way. But look, there we go. I, you can also make the pyramid go up higher. I recommend three blocks, that's my personal choice. But if you wanna go up a little bit higher, you can. Just be forewarned that it's gonna spread the wings of the pyramid out. So you may accidentally block off this section here, which is okay. I mean, the zombies are still gonna go back up, uh, but it's always nice to have a little corridor to help the bottlenecking. Step six is fortifying your base. So, I mean, all in all, this base, it looks done, right? It definitely looks like it could take on some zombies. And, you know, it honestly probably could. But as your hordes get harder and harder, you're definitely going to want to fortify this base. And that includes upgrading it as far as you can. So as your gameplay goes, you continuously upgrade. But it also means taking your plates, some either start with wood, go right to reinforced concrete with rebar, but you're gonna wanna align. I recommend the first one, two, three, four bottom pillars of your base. You're gonna wanna kinda line them, thicken them up, upgrade that all the way to steel to prevent zombies from getting pissed off and deciding to bash down your walls and wreck the path that you're trying to focus on. Another nice thing is that you can actually go ahead and upgrade it all the way up. That's something I would definitely do personally because again, you have the spitting, you have the demolishers. If they so happen to spit or explode on the way down, this kind of adds a little bit more protection to your base. But you can always start small and work your way up. So if you wanna do the first four to start and then as your gameplay progresses, you get more resources, continue working the base up. That's definitely an option available to you. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead, let's get as much of this fortified as possible. Okay, so we've put plates surrounding the entire exterior of the base. I'm also gonna go ahead on the interior and place some more plates. Now it's gonna be a little weird uh, just because of the way the blocks work out, but wherever I can put a plate, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one down to add a little bit more protection to my base. All right, so we have completely fortified the entirety of the base. One other thing you can do, I mean, you really don't have to, is put some poles down here. Again, it it adds a little fortification, but for me, I just find it kind of looks nice. You know, if we kind of surround, I'm not gonna do the interior, but if you kind of just grab these three corners, give it a little spice, it almost makes your AFK base look like a castle. All right, so the entirety of our AFK base is complete. I've spawned in some lovely ladies down here. Since I'm a lady and they're a lady, we're going to do a lady thing together. And I did give myself some experience. So let's go into our, well, let's get out of God mode here and hang out on our base. I'm going to go into our points, into intellect, and we are going to want to get, I think it's robotic inventor all the way up. So let's go ahead and go intellect. I don't know where this has to start three. So let's get this. Let's get as many points into robotic inventor as we can. All right, we got all the way to robotic experts to deploy robots can be active at once. So this gives us both of our lovely 
sledge turrets active. Now, what level do you have to be in order to max that out? Right now, I'm level 22. So imagine by level 22, if you focused all of your point, like every single point to get to intellect 10, robotics in the event are five out of five. You can kind of duplicate what I'm doing here. That isn't 100% realistic. I mean, you're gonna wanna put points in other things, but that's for another video. For the purpose of this test, we're gonna go ahead. Let's wake up our girls. Let's shoot at a few of them. Oh God, let's get out of the way. So we're gonna get all the way over here and let's just see how the base performs. Ah, beautiful. We're smacking bitches all damn day. This is amazing. I couldn't have our ladies without our unclothed one. But there, there you guys go. This is a successful AFK whore base. I can sit here and do nothing, or I can kill them from either my base, from right here. My shotgun turret will help me once they get close enough. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. And it'll also kill birds. But yeah, if you guys want to see this type of base hold up against a much difficult Port, like a much more difficult port, I should say. Check out the links in the description box below. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this. This is how you build an AFK whore base. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel and let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial video. It has been my first and it was weird to do. I never professed myself as an expert at this game, but it was a lot of fun. So yeah, let me know how you liked it. Leave a comment and we will see you on our next tutorial video.